Hi, I'm Russ Schaefer with Dennis and Yachty here in Fort Myers, Florida and taking you aboard this 40-foot Cabo HTX 2012 named Bug Off. Launched in 2012, this Cabo HTX Express is loaded with options. In my opinion, the most to offer of any 40 HTX on the market. She has a custom pipe welder's 10-step tuna tower, a fully enclosed air-conditioned helm, and brand new pods in December of 2018, and they are still under warranty. Let's start our breakdown of this 40 HTX in the cockpit. On the starboard side is a tuna door with a top gate. Center line is a 48 gallon aquarium live well. Flanking the bait well are the stern cleats and the hoss pipes. Just forward of the cleats are raw water hookups with a freshwater hookup cold and hot on the starboard side. There are three hatches in the aft section of the cockpit. To port and starboard are a pair of insulated fish boxes. The port side box is refrigerated by a cold plate and starboard side is macerated. Center line is our lazarette where we have our primary pod access point and bilge pumps. After the lazarette is a pompinet rocket launcher. Flanking the cockpit and below the gunnels is gaff and brush storage. Below the gunnel, on each side, are hookups for electric reels and lighting. Forward, on the starboard side, is a bait cutting station with a tackle system below. Facing aft is mezzanine bench seating with fold-down footrest. Below the mezzanine seating is a freezer and icebox cooler. Her cockpit takes up the full 15-7 beam of the boat. Forward is her fully enclosed helm deck, which is one of the huge selling points of this boat. The entire space is air conditioned with 24,000 BTUs, which makes fishing year-round possible. On the port side is L-shaped seating, which can accommodate four with storage compartments below. Facing the starboard side is a tackle center. Above the tackle station is an insulated drink box. Forward is the first of three Stid helm seats. The hardtop has a cabinet for life jacket storage with an additional locker for electric rail hookups and handrails for safety. Directly in front of the middle helm chair are the helm gauges and controls. Starting on the port side are a pair of Raymarine VHF radios next to a pair of Raymarine 165 hybrid touch displays. Here is where you can monitor the 72 mile open array radar, CCTV, dual frequency chirp sounder as well as monitor the weather. Next up is her coming Zeus Skyhook module her pod joystick and throttles. Above the wheel are all her electrical switches well labeled. The entire helm deck lifts hydraulically to provide access to her engine room. This is a great feature that makes servicing the boat easy no matter the weather. Here in the engine room are a pair of Cummings QSC 8.3s that generate 600 horsepower per side. The engines have 872 hours and as I mentioned the pods are brand new with warranty. 
Her upgraded generator is a 16 kW Fisher Panda with 1,060 hours. All the way forward in the engine room is a CCTV camera. Forward, just off center line, is access to the salon and living space. On the starboard side is an L-shaped settee antique table. The seat back raises up and clips into place, converting the settee into bunks. On the aft side is a large storage cabinet. This is a perfect cabinet for rods and reels. This staircase lifts up and below is additional storage. On the other side of the stairs is her main switch panel with AC, DC and switch panels. On the port side is her galley. Above the counter is cabinet storage and microwave as well as a two burner Kenyan range and stainless steel sink surrounded by Corian countertops. Below the countertops is more storage and Gen Air drawer style fridge and freezer. Aft of the galley is the head. The head has a separate glass stall shower. Now let's take a look at her owner's cabin. She has a centerline queen berth with a ton of storage underneath. To port and starboard are a pair of hanging lockers. On the port side is a TV that's tied into her onboard satellite TV. Directly overhead of the owner's cabin is the bow. Her fiberglass bow is completely covered in non-skid. This cools down the deck and makes for slip-free footing. Closing in the foredeck is a welded bow rail for added safety. Forward is her bow pulpit where we see her Lumar windlass with foot switches and Delta deep set anchor. Aft we see her custom pipe welders tuna tower. This is our last stop on today's walkthrough. Her tower has a 10 step ladder leading up to the raised helm position. Outboard of her tower are the double spreader outriggers. Covering the helm and bench seating is a fiberglass sunshade. Centerline is her helm, which is a pared down version of her lower helm. We have a Raymarine hybrid touch display, a joystick for her pod drives, and a skyhook control panel. Starboard of the wheel are her Cummings engine throttles. It was a pleasure taking you through this 2012 HTX Cabo. Should you have any questions or would like to schedule an appointment to get on board, please don't hesitate to call.